This is Chicho. Now I had a request uh, to create a video, ASMR math, right? With a math video with ASMR slant on how to generate the multiplication table for a 12 by 12 multiplication table, okay? And um, I believe this comment was posted on the ASMR video that I had where I was showing you my grandmother's backgammon board, right? And the person uh, mentioned that, um, I can't remember who the name was, that I'm really bad at pronouncing names. So I'm sorry if, uh, if you're watching this, I'm not pronouncing your, uh, your username. But uh, the person mentioned that uh, they never got to learn the multiplication table. And uh, they, you know, once you don't know the multiplication table, you end up having a hard time in mathematics, right? Because multiplication table is one of the first things you need to learn right and, and it hadn't occurred to me to make this video so thank you for making this request because it is really important to learn your multiplication table and um, you know this sort of got me motivated to do this right to create an asmr slant uh sort of a video to teach the multiplication table and how how beautiful it is and how you know it is fairly easy to learn once you do it a few times and there is uh, symmetry within the multiplication table which you know will help you appreciate the table a lot more right now what we're going to do we're going to learn not a 12 by 12 multiplication table we're going to generate a 10 by 10 grid and learn the 10 by 10 multiplication table okay and just to just to make sure that uh, it's uh, it's appreciated how important this is for me I usually you know don't deal with uh, students that are um, you know in elementary school which is where you learn your multiplication table right usually I'm dealing with students in you know in high school but when I start working with students or a group of students if I find out they don't know their multiplication table even you know it doesn't make a difference what level they're on even if they're in grade 12 or grade 8 doesn't anywhere in between doesn't make a difference no matter what we're working on if they don't know their multiplication table I stop everything, right? I slam on the brakes and I take them back to the multiplication table and I get them to learn this table because you really can't do anything else if you don't know your multiplication table, right? It's like trying to learn how to read and write without knowing your ABCs. It's impossible, okay? So super important to learn this now. So what we're gonna do in the next three videos, I guess, the first video, we're gonna set up the grid we're going to set up our 10 by 10 table right and i'm going to show you how i end up doing it and it's sort of a not a trick but a system that i used when i was doing uh, geophysics and it involves using a little bit of trigonometry special triangles which are i think they're called the pythagorean triplets or pythagorean triples or something like this where in they're basically using triangles where all the sides, right angle triangles, where all the sides are integers, right? And there's an infinite number of these types of triangles, but I usually end up using the base triangle of three, four, five, right? Three squared plus four squared equals five squared. So Pythagorean triplets or these special right angle triangles are triangles where the sides are always integers, right? Which, you know, doesn't occur all the time, but there are a lot of them, there are an infinite number of them, right? So as far as I know, there's an infinite number of them. Uh, so basically the way it works is a triangle such as three, four, five is one of these special triangles or any multiple of these side lengths, right? Six, eight, 10 is the same deal, right? 30, 40, 50 is the same deal, right? So we're gonna use that special triangle to set up our grid. And it is something that I did whenever I did geophysics, whenever I went to the field for about a decade, I did geophysics, uh, traveling all over the place, setting up grids, collecting data. And the first step of doing field work was to set up a grid, okay? So it's not just, you know, for exercise purposes that we're gonna do this, use this method to set up a grid. This is actually a practical method, sort of survey style, to set up a grid that I used for a decade and every geophysicist in the world uses, right? Or has used at some point. So that's the first video coming up. We're gonna set up the grid. The second video, we're actually gonna learn the multiplication table, right? The 10 by 10 multiplication table. And again, super important to learn 
this table it's uh, if you don't know it uh, you should stop everything else that you're doing and learn this table because you end up using it a lot and it's not about how fast you can regurgitate uh, you know provide solutions to what the multiplications are right it's just that you know it because you're gonna have enough practice in the real world that it's gonna become automatic and if you need a little help in learning this thing uh, I put out two videos showing you two hand tricks of how to do your multiplication table one of them is you know the nine multiplication table that you use both your hands and your full number and it's a pretty neat trick and another one is uh, one that a student actually showed it to me where you use your hands and it's used for multiplying six seven eight nine ten with six seven eight nine ten right and it's a nice little trick uh, to help you remember the higher numbers okay and the third video that we're going to use that we're going to do uh, since we're going to set up a grid uh, what I'm going to show you is a math puzzle game that a student showed me it's sort of a pattern recognition game but you can think about it as a, as a 10 by 10 math puzzle game and uh, after this was a few years ago when my student showed it to me and I ended up playing it for a few months and it was it was, it was a lot of fun uh, especially once you started to recognize the patterns right so it was sort of addictive for a few months I started playing it and uh, I never was able to complete it but I got uh, I got one step away from completing it and my student that showed it to me um, he was originally from Turkey and he said uh, that uh, you know the game was popular there I'm not sure what the name of this game is and I'm not sure what the origins of this game is uh, but my student had been playing it for about ten um, for about uh, three years and for three years he played it and he was only able to get one solution complete the the puzzle only once right and he actually provided a so solution to me because he um he kept it it was this was magic for him so he kept that piece of paper where he had the solution worked out okay and after after playing with this for a while i actually ended up writing a little article on it uh just a little piece giving the rules and providing the examples and the solution and my you know how far i got into it and a couple of people that read this um, and they provided comments and one person provided a python i believe it was python uh, program to generate solutions for this for this game for this puzzle right so one person gener created a program to generate solutions for this which was brilliant and another person created uh, i forget what type of program it was i think it was a jar program or something like this something very simple um, where you loaded the module on your computer and instead of having to do it on a 10 by 10 piece of paper uh, the program would pop up and it was a 10 by 10 you know grid on your screen computer screen and you could based you know based on the rules that the movement types that you had you know you fill in the uh, fill in the squares and see how far you got and that was that was fantastic and thank you to those people that provided uh, those two programs right okay so that's what we're going to do for the next three videos uh, is basically play around with a 10 by 10 uh, grid right one of them is to generate it another one is to learn the multiplication table and the other one is to have a little game on it right have have some fun with that grid okay uh, i hope you enjoy and if you have any questions uh, i guess post comments and i'll try to get to them or any recommendations because this this set of videos uh, definitely comes from recommendations okay and thank you for uh, the person who posted that uh, that comment okay uh, that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video